Welcome to Back Into Fishing. I'm down here today at my community lake. It's uh, Thursday, so it's been six days since I've been out. The water's still a little cloudy from uh, Monday's really heavy rains, but uh, been stuck in the house long enough. It's time to get out and do a little fishing. I'm clean shaven. Maybe that's good luck. I couldn't decide which side of the lake to try first. I flipped the coin, and here I go. One of the first things I want to do is get a uh, water temperature reading. I just got a new temperature scale. The old one that I had, I dropped on a rock and it cracked the casing on it so it wasn't making good electrical contact. Look over there, a dead carp. So it wasn't making good electrical contact, so I bought a new one. So we'll see what the water temperature is. See if it's changed any in six days. I expect, if anything, it's going down because of the uh, cold weather. Um, when I was made my last video, it was uh, 81 degrees that day. The next day, Saturday, was 89. Uh, two, three days later, we had snow flurries. So if the temp water temperature's up, I'll be surprised. Well, let's see what the water temp is. 55 even. I have to go back to my last video and see what it was, but I'm, it's definitely not up any. Uh, this time last year, the water was at least 10 degrees warmer than this. This spot had produced some fish last fall, so far this year nothing, so I'm going to move on. Well, I was just going to turn the camera on. I just threw the bait out. Hardly any sooner than I hit the water than a fish hit. Now, it's only about a 9-inch bass, but hey, I'll take that. That's the first bass in almost two months. It's a considerable hill down here, but um, I got no choice but to throw them in. I can get a little closer over here. Don't really like to throw him back up, oh, and he's gone. At one dimension, this is just across you know, 30 yards away from where I was just fishing, but the, I wanted to say the last few minutes the wind has really picked up here, and off in the distance it's looking like there's uh, storm clouds moving in. There's a 70% chance of uh, rain today, so I'm not going to stray too far from the car. I know this spot may not look like much, but uh, last year in the spring, especially during the spawn, I caught a fish almost every time I came down here, including two and the two pound class fish. Some of them are on my videos from last year. Um, I've already made a couple casts into here. and No takers so far, but I, there's a lot of underwater brush in here. Come off these trees over the years, so we're going to give it a few more tries and See if we can't coax somebody to pick up our Ned Rig. I didn't have a camera on, but something just really gave me a good tap tap there, but it wasn't anything there when I set the hook. Could have been a turtle picking it up. I did want to mention the wind is really picking up. It's got a little bit colder. It's pretty overcast now, and we're only talking about a five minute difference. Yeah, I'm definitely going to stay close to the car. I got him on video. The roof of the mouth. Smaller than the other one, maybe uh, eight inches. Uh, we'll take him. If you watch my videos regularly, you may recognize this spot. I occasionally pick a fish up here and there. The second fish I caught this year back in February, almost two months ago, came out of this spot. So it's, I'm definitely always going to stop here as I'm making my way around. Winds died down a little bit. I have a feeling it's coming back. So I'll make it quick. This spot, or not this spot necessarily, this area through here, I caught a fair number of fish on spinner baits in the spring last year. I'm going to I'm going to try throwing some spinnerbaits through here before I leave. I caught a few fish on spinnerbaits here last spring. I've gotten to the park area. This is uh, as far up the lake I go on this side since the dredge last year took all the structure out on the rest of the way up. So 
So I'm going to try a few casts around here, a couple of different baits. I'm thinking uh, I might tie on a crankbait real quick and try it. It could do good in this area. I've caught them before here on a crankbait. So give it a try. Hopefully something will cooperate with me. If not, depending on what the weather decides to do, it's sprinkled a couple of times, but it hasn't come down heavy yet. Um, I'm guessing it's just a matter of time. It isn't a forecast, so it's probably going to rain eventually. I'll just stick it out and see what happens. I've only fished this spot once before. Never got anything out of it. Uh, however, the two fish I got today were came off wood, so I figure it's worth a try. At least a few casts through here couldn't hurt. I have decided to make a strategic move. The occasional drizzle is now coming down as a light rain. The breeze has turned into an almost constant wind and it has got significantly colder. It's almost uh, painful to be out here right now. I'm going to work my way back to the car and when I get there I'll pack up and sit for a while. See if this is just something that will pass. Maybe I can get back out and hit the other side of the lake. I'll probably see in the next half hour or so what it's going to do. I made my way back to the car. The rain has temporarily stopped, but I just used the word temporarily because I'm sure it's coming back. Uh, my in-car thermometer said 61 when I came down here this morning. Now it says 49. And that wind is almost constant out there. I actually, while that's not all that cold, I actually feel pretty frozen. I think I'm just going to sit here for a while, see if the conditions change. If not, I'm going to call it a day. If it does get better, I'm going to head out to the side of the lake I didn't fish and see if I can get anything. So if this is the end of the video, thanks for watching. Hope we'll come back soon with another video.